the super villain, the new super villain on the streets, go by, go by the title Cotton Ball Person. What do you think of him? Pathetic. That's what I think. He's very clever. I'm sure he's nice. Are you, are you worried about what he might do to the the saturation of cotton balls in the market? No. You know, I'm here. I'm ready to fight CBP. Definitely. Well, it stands for Cotton Ball Person. Have you not heard about my power? Well, I have the power to make three cotton balls appear out of my hand every ten seconds. So a cotton ball person, uh, he's a he's a nice guy. He's he's best villain I know probably. He um he's a fun guy to uh, work with. The cat is funny. He pays me in money. No. What does he pay you? Cotton balls. How how are you going to stop him? I'm going to set him on fire and defeat him. You're going to set him on fire. So, what made you want to become a henchman in the first place? I was, um, born like this. You see, I came out of the room and I was a henchman. So, you could say it was kind of thrust upon you, this, this, this henchman title. Yeah, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy. Mr. Henchman, uh, he's been working for me for a while. He's a really good henchman, actually. Did I mention he collects coins? So, I do, um, numismatics. Which means I collect coins. I feel like he's just kind of a sheep. He's like a top quality sheep. I like collecting coins. They're quite, um, they're quite, uh, what do you call it? They're quite, uh, fun to collect. I didn't want to be a supervillain my whole life. As I was growing up, all I wanted to do was sell cotton balls. Then, after I was in prison, I was embittered by the ways of society. I've got to ask, how did you break uh, CBP out of, out of prison? How did you go about doing that? So, of course, like, I could have fought my way in, but that's just stupid because there's so many prison guards, I would have probably got killed. So, um, I have a couple of friends that, um, that work in the prison, so I just told them, Bring them up like this and said, hello, henchman here. Um, can I please come into the prison? And they said, yeah. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Mr. Henchman. I called you on the phone to um, get inside um, the prison to get my friend out. Can I please go in? No. What? No. Boss, wake up, I'm here. Oh, sorry, wrong door. Boss, wake up. I've come to get you out now. Henchman, I knew I could trust you to get yes, me out hello, of here. Hello, sir. Oh, the food has been so bad. All right, sir, I don't really care. I'm going to get you out now. <laughs> sir? Excellent. Henchman, I'm hello, tired. Sir. Carry me. Carry you? Carry me. Augusta! Let's go. So, for today's weather... Oh, hold on, I think I've got some breaking news. CBP has escaped from prison. Whoa, Cornwall person has escaped. What are we going to do? We need to catch him. 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 Let's go. Sure hope none of the heroes find me. It's fair. Oh, boy. It was interesting. We managed to um, almost win, but you know, things didn't go to plan. Genius that I am, I managed to lure them into my well constructed trap. Ha ha! See the tyranny of a real supervillain! And as I was leaving, I said um, something the lines of uh, feel the tyranny of a real supervillain. I, I think that was quite, that's one of my best lines. See the tyranny of a real supervillain! Ha ha! We're trapped! We're trapped! And he may have trapped us, but we had it under control. You know what? I unlocked the door, like, right at the very beginning. But I swear, like, they were there for a long time. Well, he trapped us, and we were locked there for five 
Yes. Just five years. Five years? Like, they didn't even try the door. They did it where they went, according to plan. Following on from your failed fight with CVP, are you planning on doing any kind of practicing for your next fight? We've all been doing training together, so I think that's enough. Do more training to prepare for it and be more better at it. Yeah, we have some very high tech, intense training that we're going to be yeah, doing. <laughs> Just fireman being the usual fireman, he just fell, just fell. Did he have to go into recovery? Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a little while, just five years. Like five years? Five years? Yes. So the same amount of time that you were in jail for? Yes. Are you planning on fighting CVP anytime soon? Um, immediately actually, so can we just speed this up? Oh. Because, you know. Alright. I'm gonna melt you to death. I'm 70% water. Oh, I'm not dead. Yes, honey. I'm kind of in the middle of something. That's you ruined that you picked up right now. Alright, fine. I think it's time we finish this. Yeah, I think it is. We beat him basically. Well, how did you beat him? I set him on fire. He said he set quote and boom person on fire. That's interesting because that did not happen at all. What did? Me. That's what happened. I melted him. Period. So how did you beat him? I think she's actually gone. I think. Just a moment. Oh, she's gone. Oh. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Henchman? Oh, boss? It's been a while. Yeah. Did you think you could just up and leave without this heartfelt letter of recommendation? Sir, so there's nothing there. I'll email it to you. Yeah. Sir? So, I'm a health and safety officer now. To whomever it may concern, this is a letter of recommendation for Mr. Morag Swanky, also known as Cotton Ball Person. He has a silver part, the heart of a transplant patient, and a face of um, a cotton ball. He's a very kind employer and is in no way villainous at all. The wage rate that he sets is usually 1,080 cotton balls per hour. Please contact him at the enclosed address. Signed, Henchman. P.S. Please disregard my previous letter as I was in a bad mood. <laughs>